Last week, 78 teams representing 51 collegiate campuses launched onto Lake Dardanelle, kicking off the 2017 Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. With an impending front looming, anglers sacked them up, and at the end of the day, it was Murray State dominating the top three spots. Now, we kick off day number two from Lake Dardanelle in Russellville, Arkansas, and the action starts now. Welcome to Dardanelle State Park for day two of the 2017 Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. We've got a lot of ground to cover, so here's a quick recap. After heavy rains on Friday, day one kicked off under cloudy conditions with stained and cooling water. At midday, a front pushed through, bringing winds gusting to 25, wreaking havoc to the shallow sight fishing pattern many had found in practice. At the end of the day, Kentucky's Murray State was on top, dominating the field and locking up the top three positions on the Cabela's leaderboard. The other story is the race for Cabela's School of the Year, presented by Abu Garcia. Coming into this event, Bryan College is in the lead with the University of North Alabama and Mississippi State right on their heels. On day one, Bryan College had the Fogg brothers, Chandler and Connor, along with Nathan Bell and Cole Sands, finishing the day in 15th giving them a little breathing room in the overall standings. So here we are. We've got 129 boats on the water this morning for a total of 78 teams representing 51 collegiate campuses. Checking the Cabela's forecast, we're looking at post-frontal conditions on day two. We'll see a high in the mid-70s with bluebird skies and a light wind out of the south. Okay, anglers, day two, 2017. Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. So, with all the details in place, we'll get out on the water for tournament coverage. We'll kick things off with Hunter Mills and Hunter McKinley, one half of the second place team representing Murray State University. We've just been throwing these crankbaits up on that flat. That's the only thing we can get them to eat is a crankbait. Yeah. I lost a big one right off that tree yesterday about 9.30, 9 o'clock on a Texas rig bug, and it was a big one. But So we know there's good fish here. Nice thing is it should reload throughout the day too. We got down here Monday, and uh, we, ac we actually had to run back to Kentucky Monday night after we got down here Monday morning, because we had motor issues, but uh, one of our our uh, marinas back home was able to get us in and not, nowhere around here was able to get us in so we were able to get the boat in and get fixed and we ended up getting back here Tuesday night and only missed one day of practice so it's been a rough week but uh, we're ready to go catch them this morning. This is Ryan Lancaster and Boris Moskov fishing for Murray State. They're one half of the team in third. Did you hit that tire? Where's that? Right, straight out from me. Net? No. Little one. What's happened is uh, it's a little backwater area and it was the water was down a whole lot and then the storm came through and the storm came through and actually rose rose the water where we're at probably about two foot so we were flipping things that are in like two foot of water now that we're on the bank so we've actually got a lot more cover to flip now and uh, we're just going to go in there and flip every piece of cover whether it's grass or lay downs or stumps or or whatever we can find and see what we can pull out That'll work. Number one. Two and a half, maybe. Moving on, we'll check in with Murray State's Nick and Nick. They're one half of the leading team. Interestingly enough, each of the teams from Murray State is fishing completely different waters, a good testament to their abilities. This 
stuff so gnarly. I know, dude, it's amazing. It's nuts. Current, baby. Yesterday we had a lot of wind and a, there was a lot of current pushing through here because of the storms that came through the night before. And that's settled down a lot and it's gonna be hot and calm today. So it's gonna hurt a lot of people and I just hope it doesn't hurt us too. <laughs> Back on Lancaster and Moscow. Hold on. That's what we need. God. <laughs> Remember, in this team format, each boat is responsible for just three fish. Anglers are looking for an average of a uh, three to four pound fish to be competitive. That's a little bit better one there. Hey, just got one three pounder. Yep. That's all right, don't worry about it, just keep flipping. And I was just gonna tell you, um, I'm throwing that green pumpkin flash, same thing we've been throwing. Yep, yep, if, I mean, they're not everywhere by no means, but if we keep doing this for the rest of the day, we'll have our bites, but make sure you both of the fish we've caught have come out of the grass, so make sure you're flipping at every little piece of grass you see. Uh, all right. Stay with us. There's more tournament coverage ahead from Lake Dardanelle and the 2017 Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. It's in our stomping grounds and our playground. It's in our sights and our commitment. It's in him. It wasn't them, and it will continue with her. It's in my nature. Is it in yours? Everybody knows somebody that just seems to have things go wrong around him. And for me, it's my good buddy Z when he heads to the water. It's like a black cloud follows this guy around. He runs out of gas, locks his keys in the car, or worse, has a flat tire coming to him from the water. But old Z's a pretty sharp guy. He relies on Boat US in those situations where something goes wrong. Boat US has the finest low-cost boat insurance and the largest fleet of towboats ready to assist you 24-7. Visit BoatUS.com. Engineered to excel. The Ranger Z500 and Z100 series are built for the ultimate ownership experience. It's a commitment to excellence packed with real world advantages and exclusive features. Experience the accelerated performance standards of the legendary Ranger Z series. From first light to last cast, they're put together to set you apart. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. Meet the water's lightest 25 horsepower four stroke, the all new Yamaha F25, the new standard in 25 horsepower portable four strokes. At just 126 pounds, it's got the best power to weight ratio of any 25 horsepower four stroke on the water. With performance that bests the previous Yamaha F25 and features like Yamaha's BTS for precise trolling speeds, batteryless EFI, built in resting pads, and carry handles, it's the perfect portable power for small boats. Out here, we're hostile, cold, and cruel. Our way of life. There's no better way to live. Guts, glory, ram. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you in part by Cabela's, it's in your nature. Ram Trucks, Guts, Glory, Ram, and by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Welcome back to Lake Dardanelle for the second day of competition of the 2017 Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. There's a ton of prizes on the line, but this event is really about the points. With the Collegiate Championship looming, the race for the Cabela School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia is heating up. Bryan College has the lead, but Murray State has the top three spots in this event. And with double points, if they can hold on, well, there could be a change in the standings. You know, it's something I thought I'd never see. It, you know, Murray State, one, two, three, it's, it's kind of surreal, you know. Uh, you don't see this very often, and we're just fortunate enough to be in this position. 
Getting back on the water, we'll check back with Murray State's Nick Montalino and Nick Enzio. Yeah, I think what's so cool about this area is that these fish are moving off of this main lake and heading into spawn using these routes, using these islands as the routes, I guess. Oh, heck yeah, I didn't even know you had one on. There we go, we broke the ice. It's a start. We're a long way from where we need to be. Oh, it's a yeah, start. for sure. We're a long, long way from where we need to be. Louisiana State's Matt Glad and Owen Richard weighed 1089 on day one, part of the 2092 total that put LSU into fifth. They're fishing shallow, flipping beavers into the brush. Earlier on in the week, I mean, we're from southern Louisiana, so we live six foot or less. So our comfort is flipping. And earlier on in the week, we found a flipping bite. We found that these fish have moved up for the most part. Some of them we found on beds, especially the big girls that we found. So that was our game plan yesterday. It didn't change too much, even with the rain. Our first hold didn't get affected, didn't muddy up too much. Uh, today, being more post-frontal, this morning was a bluebird sky. We knew it was going to be kind of a slowdown type of thing. We figured most of them wouldn't be feeding, that it's going to be more of a reaction bite. Yes. Hey, go back. Oh, came off. Hey, that's two. Number two. I'll get me to teach one. Moving on, Brock Spencer is fishing alone. His partner had emergency surgery this week, and we wish him well. But Brock paid tribute by sacking up the heaviest limit on day one. Jeez, uh, it, it was pretty crazy. Um, definitely the biggest sack I've ever caught by myself in a tournament. And uh, was, I, I didn't have anything like that in practice. I, f I found this bank up there, and there was good fish on it. but. Uh, pull up in there and you catch two big ones like that. And I just boat flipped them, had no idea how big they were. So it was sort of, it was, a, it was a good day. Midway through the morning on day two, things aren't going quite as well. Today I pulled up and caught two little dinks and that was it. Back on LSU's Matt Glad and Owen Richard. There it is. There we go, baby. How deep is it? 10 foot, can't pull it down. There's number three. That hurt, dude. Still need to get rid of them. You break my poles while you're at it? Uh, no, they're good. <laughs> Thanks for that. I got the fish. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Get a good shot? Post it up. Hashtag we are collegiate bass. We'll be right back with more from Lake Dardanelle right after these messages. There's two things between an angler and the fish, the sun and the bugs. Sawyer's line of sunscreens and bug sprays keep you focused on the fish. Sawyer's Stay Put Sunscreen Formula bonds with your skin for a more comfortable and better level protection. And Picaridin Insect Repellent will only harm the bugs, never your fishing gear. Also, Sawyer Permethrin repels and kills on contact over 55 species of insects. You're already outdoors. Sawyer keeps you there. Put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic ice.
Sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Cuz now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. Bass Angler Magazine brings you more. If you want to learn the latest techniques, win your next bass tournament, or simply catch more bass, then Bass Angler Magazine is for you. From California to Florida, Vanessa the Froggin. Bass Angler Magazine is jam-packed with how-to information from the world's best pros. Published every season, Bass Angler Magazine is crammed with fresh new articles designed to help anglers of all levels learn more and catch more bass. Sign up at BassAnglerMag.com today. Bass Angler is also available at your local Cabela's. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you in part by Yamaha Marine. Reliability starts here. Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. And by PowerPole, swift, silent, secure. Welcome back to Russellville, Arkansas. This is day number two of the 2017 Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. Pope County is the seat that's home to the city of Russellville and Lake Dardanelle one of the many natural resources that provides for the people of Northwest Arkansas. It's very important to Russellville. It provides a whole lot of economic impact, this lake and the fishing industry. So we're very appreciative and, and we don't take it for granted. This is absolutely beautiful country, and well worth the trip. For information, check out discoverrussellville.com. <laughs> Back on Hunter Mills and Hunter McKinley, They've made a move, and they're hooked up. Oh, my Lord. Oh, God. All right, got to work. Gross. <laughs> he was just running that way. Oh, keeper. It's a fat football game. Yeah. Rod went right under. <laughs> Let me see your rod. There you go. What we're fishing here is, is it's deeper out here because there's the bridge, and then uh, it comes up in a shallow rock shelf. And we're sitting on the outside and the current's coming in. I don't know if it's creating a big eddy and coming around, but not even 10 minutes ago it was coming in, so. The current fluctuates a lot here, we've noticed. There's one. He choked it. Well, you got some calling to do. Can I throw your rod while you're doing it? Cool. Big one. Big, 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 big. University of Louisiana at Monroe started the morning in fourth after weighing in a combined total of 2386. We'll pick things up with Spencer Lambert and Tyler Stewart. There we go. Good job. How big is he? Four, probably. Yeah. Back on LSU's there Matt Glad and Owen Richards. There he is, baby. So cool. Yeah, blue's bigger. Yeah. Time is running out on the 2017 Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. Coming up, we'll head to weigh in and crown a champion. To learn more about the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Series, please visit collegiatebasschampionship.com. And now, Ram Facts, brought to you by Dodge Ram and the all new 2017 Ram 1500. Hey 
everyone, Gil Pro, Dean Rojas here. And all of last year, I really enjoyed wearing my FG21, which I have on right now. Well, coming up, we have a brand new color. As you can see, we have a new silver color. I want to tell you about the FG21 jacket. The coolest thing about this jacket is the Vortex hood. All day long, it does not matter how much it rains, you're going to stay dry and you're going to stay warm and in turn, help you catch more fish. When I talk about Sunline, I think of one word, confidence. Sunline FX2 is what I use for all of my frogging and flipping. SX1 braid, which braid plays a little big part in, uh, in fishing line. Shooter, I'm going to use in those close quarter deals, like flipping and pitching. One of my favorite techniques in fishing the tournament trail is to fish offshore ledges. We have taken the, the questions out of the equation. Take my word for it. It works. It works, dude. Combining the best of old world craftsmanship with state-of-the-art technologies to bring fishermen everywhere a fishing rod that's feather light, extremely sensitive yet remarkably durable for any fishing condition or situation. Denali Rods, tournament tested and tournament tough. From the makers of Bubba Blade comes the Bubba Blade Fishing Pliers. No matter where you're headed to fish, this tool will become an integral part of your tackle box for many years to come. They feature our patented no-slip grip handles, just like our Bubba Blade knives, ensuring that this tool will stay firmly anchored in your hand. In addition to the handles, these pliers feature a super tough cobalt cutter and convenient split shot and leader sleeve crimping cutouts. The ultimate in control, strength, and durability, Bubba Blade. Pro Rule opened its doors. It was about more than just creating a product. It was about building a legacy. One that's known for strength, precision, and quality. Forged from determination and crafted from hard work and American pride. Pro Rule measuring boards and transom savers made to last. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you in part by Arctic Ice. We put the cool in coolers. Gill Technical Fishing Gear by Russell Marine. Innovative products for the marine industry. And by Eagle Claw Trocar. I'd like to welcome all of y'all out this afternoon to the 2017 Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. This is going to get interesting quick. It's been two days of tough fishing for these collegiate anglers. Changing conditions each of the last four days have kept the field guessing. Some were able to adapt. Others, well, some just had a rough weekend. It was definitely a grind today. We, uh, our morning bite didn't pay out like we thought it was, like it did yesterday. It, it really petered out today. And we didn't get on them until just picking up one here and there. We never really got on them, actually. And like he said, we left one on bed, probably five pounds, and it was just barely getting here by the skin of our teeth, so it was just tough. Is this gonna help you or hurt you? Uh, I think it's gonna help us. Feel like you're gonna at least hold on to that first place spot? I, I think we are. Uh, we, we had a team up there, and I think they caught him again today, and hopefully our partners caught him pretty good, and we can move up the standings and help our, help our points out. Looking to hold on to the lead in the Cabela's School of the Year standings presented by Abu Garcia, Bryan College managed a 13th place finish with a total two-day wait of 33.27. Way to go. Your day one leaders from Murray State had a rough day. After a jaw-dropping day one wait of 27.19, they struggled on day two, bringing in a combined weight of just 7.15 and falling down to 10th place overall. Moving on to the top of the leaderboard, McMurray University's Chad Moore and Ryan Neville sacked up a two-day total weight of 38.23 to lock up fifth place. 
Okay, University of Montevallo. The University of Montevallo climbed from 16th all the way up to 4th, weighing in a combined 1993 on day two, bringing their two day total to 38.57. Okay, next team up. Tennessee Tech University. The Golden Eagles from Tennessee Tech represented this weekend with Jesse Guerin and Daniel Holt finishing the week in third with 38-88. Y'all put your hands together, new leaders. Yesterday we pulled in, we left from Wayne, we had our early boat draw and uh, we pulled in there and we had 19 pounds by like 10 o'clock and we're, let's save the rest of our bed fish. Um, I know there's a bunch of boats in there, but it just seemed like we were doing something a little different and uh, catching them behind other boats. So we're, we just left them alone and we went in there today, dropped the trolling motor and never left. So, I mean, a lot of hours in there on the trolling motor standing up and looking, but it's, if that's what gets us third, that's what we'll do. Hunter Mills and Hunter McKinley were part of the McMurray State Flurry on day one, ending the day in second. Today, they've got another limit, and we'll turn it over to tournament director Anthony Wright for the call. These fish today are going to weigh 1140, with yesterday's is 3811. Y'all are in second place. What about your teammates? They've got them, or do you know? Uh, I know they have uh, three. I don't know. Uh... I don't know the size, really. We were fishing uh, a main, no, I wouldn't say a main lake point, but a point leading back to a pocket. And uh, there's a flat up around the point, but out from it, there was uh, like a seven, eight foot depth change. And uh, what we think is it was just pre-spawn fish pulling up and getting on that flat. And we were just cranking that flat. There was shells. Um, there was also a road bed, road bed, and grass, then grass. Uh, pretty much there everything that they, everything you need, everything for, that they need to spawn yeah. and come up and transition, Stumps. transition points and stuff. So, LSU's Dakota Sparks and Levi Sharp are up next. They started the day in fifth, and they're stepping up to the scales with another limit. Their team had 20, 92, and I believe we're going to have a lead change just with what they brought up here. Get up here close. This is going to be 1298 for a total of 3390. That is a good quality string of fish. Up next for the Tigers is Matt Glad and Owen Richard. Y'all are in the top 10 right now. 902 to add to it. 4292 new leaders. Get those fish out and show them to the crowd. New leaders. Way to go, anglers. Yes, sir. Well, practice, we found a flipping bite. We figured the fish would be moving up this time of the year with the, with the way the weather has been here in Russellville. So we knew that they'd be moving up the bed. So practice, we found a flipping bite and a little bit of a moving bite, moving bait bite as well. But we just couldn't find that moving bait bite personally in the tournament. I don't know if they with just one bag left away, here's McMurray State's Mike Lowry and Brian Cox. All right, from Murray State University, we've got Mike and Brian. Y'all come on up. They had 38-11 with this four-man team yesterday. All they need is 481 to take over the lead. Right now, you're in fifth place. Uh, there, look, he's wanting to lift up on it. 981, new leaders, new winners, 4792. All right, y'all hold these fish up. All right, y'all look out there. This is going on live stream, national television. Smile at them, that's a way to go. After two days of challenging conditions, Murray State comes out on top with a commanding five pound lead over the rest of the field. For their efforts, the 2017 champs will take home $1,600 in Cabela's gift cards. They'll each get a pair of Costa sunglasses, a rod from Temple Fork, and gear from Buff Headwear. Looking at the Cabela's School of the Year standings presented by Abu Garcia, there were a couple of shifts in the top 10, but Bryan College maintains their lead heading into the final stretch of the season. And finally, big thanks to our friends in Russellville. If you're headed to the region, check out discoverrussellville.com. That'll do it for this week in the 2017 Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. For information, visit collegiatebasschampionship.com. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is a Carico TV production. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.